Welcome back to P3. Today we're looking at the product row, unit 6.4. Now, this is so that we're able to differentiate the product of two functions. So if I have two functions called u and v, then I can differentiate them using the following. And in this case, u and v are both functions of x. Now it's important that you can recognize these types of questions where you've got a function multiplied by another function and it's not a function of a function. Before we jump into some examples, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so, especially if you are studying A-level maths or you plan to in the future. Now let's have a look at a few examples. So in this one, we can see we've got a function here, 3x, multiplied by the second function here, which is 5x squared minus 1, all raised to the power 3. So what I do is I call the first function u and the second function v. It doesn't really matter which way around, but that's what we do. So we want u equals 3x and v equals 5x squared minus 1 cubed. And what I need to do now is differentiate both of these. So du by dx will be 3 in this case, and then dv by dx. So if you remember from last time, we multiply by the 3 to the power 2, same bracket, and then multiply by the differential of that bracket. So we get 3 5x squared minus 1 squared times 10x. So we've got 30x 5x squared minus 1 squared. And then we're going to use the formula. So the formula that we're using here is dy by dx is u dv by dx plus v du by dx. And if you set your question up as I have over in this section here on the right, then what you've got is you've got these two multiplied together plus these two multiplied together. And that makes it easier to remember. You almost don't need to remember this formula if you always set it up in the same way. So 3x multiplied by 30x, 5x squared minus 1 squared. So 3 times 30 is 90x squared. And then we've got 5x squared minus 1 squared. Plus, and then the other direction, we have 3 times this. So that's 3 times 5x squared minus 1 cubed. Now it's often tempting to leave it as it is, but we should be simplifying this further. However, I would say that if this was a question where I was trying to find the value of the gradient, a numerical value for a later part of the problem, then I wouldn't do any more adjustments. I would just substitute the value of x straight into this equation now. If, however, I am just tasked with differentiating this, then I would simplify it. So to simplify this, you can see that out of both, it's factorizing. So I can take one of the two of these and two of these, and I can also factorize a three out of both. So I can factorize three, five X squared minus one squared out of both. So once I've taken three and this bracket out of here, I'm left with 30, x squared and once I've taken three and two of these brackets then I'm left with just 5x squared minus one and then what I've put in my square brackets is now what I need to simplify so we've got 30x squared plus 5x squared so 35x squared minus 1. 
and there I have differentiated it and fully simplified. So we've got it in terms of brackets there. Now this is very much the same type of question as the previous one, just written in a different form. So u equals 5x squared and v equals 8x minus 2 squared. So differentiate both of these. And now I need to essentially kind of cross multiply. So this times this, so my dy by dx is 5x squared multiplied by 16, which is 80x squared. And then we have our bracket 8x minus 2. Then I want to cross multiply these. So we have 10x, 8x minus 2 squared. Okay, and then we need to factorize. We can factorize a bracket and we can factorize 10x out of both. So I'm taking 10x and one of my brackets and I'm going to use square brackets again here just to put my rest in. So we've got 8x from the first one and 8x minus 2 from my second term there and then it's just a matter of simplifying what's in my square bracket so we've got 8x plus 8x is 16x minus 2 now in this case it's a bit unique in that there's even numbers here and even numbers here so I can factor out a 2 out of both of them so if I take 2 out of the first one and 2 out of the second one, it's going to be times by 4. So 40x is 4x minus 1 and 8x minus 1. So that is factorising out a 2 out of the first one and a 2 out of the second one. And that then is fully simplified.